For anyone watching my video right now that does not own Destiny 2, there's actually a free trial you can try right now. You can get it for free. The only bad news is you only have access to two PvP playlists. Get it? <coughs> Anyways guys, welcome to a brand new video today, and in this video there will be no complaining. I'm just talking about my future playing Destiny 2. I know I made a ton of videos criticizing it, talking about problems, but in this video I feel like with the blog post that went up earlier today with the roadmap for Destiny 2, there would be no better time to discuss my plans for covering the future of D2. Um, because a lot of people have been saying, dude, just stop. Just abandon it. Just give up. Stop making Destiny videos. Either, either they say make Fortnite videos or go back to Destiny 1. So I just want to take this time out to be perfectly honest because there's a lot of stuff I keep bottled inside and um, you know now is a good time to release it. So I'm not, there's so many channels out there that just read off of the Bungie post so you can get updated on the news. However, there's like a ton of stuff in this post so I highly recommend that you just check it out yourself. Um, but the, bi the big thing for me I think with my channel and the stuff that we have as a community complained about like the PvP community, there are a few things that are the most relevant and that is private Private matches for PvP, they say they're still targeting early 2018 and expect to have better insight into exact timing once the new year comes. They're also finally acknowledging ranked PvP and they're saying we are also moving ranked PvP to the top of our priority list for next year to support the competitive community. This is like they, they never acknowledged any any PvP community or ranked in Destiny 1 so just seeing that right there like I know it doesn't fix the game or anything but it's it's a big step in the right direction moving forward in the future my plans for Destiny 2 right now is to wait for the Curse of Osiris DLC I already have the season pass I already bought it ahead of time I probably wouldn't purchase it if I had only bought the base game right now but I figured I already bought it I make YouTube videos specifically PvP videos so the most of the stuff I'll be making is covering either the maps or new weapons, um, stuff like that. If there's like some really good standout weapon, obviously I'll be covering that. Um, pretty much anything relevant to PvP within the new DLC I'll be going over. And um, obviously with the release of private matches in ranked, I'll be probably coming up with some sort of ranked series or private match series, playing in tournaments, posting tournament gameplay, GB gameplay, wager gameplay, if, if, that, <laughs> if that ever actually ends up happening. But just kind of mixing it up. And, and it's gonna be really rough I think because every day when I sit down to make a video right now with where destiny 2 is it takes like a solid hour like I spend the whole day so I, I'm at school right I go to college the whole school day I spend is trying to come up with so I just need to squeeze out one more video today because there is nothing that I can think of right and so it's gonna be rough for me moving forward like the next few months I know that the DLC is around the corner so that should help a lot um, um, but honestly, like it is, it is going to be very tough to continue making Destiny 2 videos for you know the next year, or two years. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it up for. Um, but it's 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 definitely going to be hard to come up with things to make videos on. And I know that a lot of Destiny PvP YouTubers feel the exact same way, and they're gonna continue to try to make videos. So I may reach out to other people to see if we can get some sort of weird uh, video series going. Maybe we'll play Destiny 1 sometimes. We'll do like some weird trials challenges. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to make the game as entertaining as possible as I can for videos. Um, you know, if, I, I'm not going to play it every day because there's so many good games out there right now that Destiny 2 hasn't really like, they, okay, there are people that hate it and there are people that like it, but I don't think it has blown anybody's socks off and got them addicted to it. So I feel like there's so many good games out here right now that I'm going to spend a lot of my time playing different stuff. I know I uploaded Rainbow Six as part of my last video and a lot of people said they wanted to see that. Fortnite is really popular right now. Um, Battlefront just came out, which I know everyone hates because of the whole microtransaction thing. EA is scum for doing that with how they design the game, but DICE, the developers who actually made the game, like they made it well. Like the game plays really well. Like it's, it's a lot of fun. The only issue is the whole like pay to, pay to win sort of thing that, or the scandal basically that ruined the game, but don't hate on it. It's not, it's a good game. Okay. It is, it is fun. So the bottom 
bottom line is I'll continue to make Destiny 2 videos. I'll be covering Curse of Osiris, going over the weapons, the maps, anything that relates to PvP. I want to continue to make Destiny 2 videos as long as I can, and I'm going to make sure that I don't just put out way too many to the point where they're just stupid, meaningless videos. Um, so I'll be coming up with series ideas, trying to work with other PvP YouTubers for Destiny, mixing it up occasionally with other games like Fortnite, Rainbow Six, maybe Battlefield, Overwatch, Battlefront. I'm not quite sure yet, but at the end of the day, I know I'm going to have to diversify at some point. I'm just excited that after all these years, the last two, three years, where they never listened to us at all, we complained enough to the point where the, you know it fired off the, 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 the red alarm, I guess you'd say, and they're finally working on stuff that we've been asking for in the PvP community, um, and they're being more transparent. Like, they completely canceled this live stream to promote their DLC, and instead they actually discussed and answered the questions, or at least some of the questions that we wanted answered. So do I think Destiny 2 is magically going to become an uh, amazing game when they implement this update? I don't think so. I'm just excited that they're finally being more transparent and giving us a roadmap of what's going to happen in the future. Like I feel like in a year, Destiny 2 will be fun. It just We just have to wait for all this stuff to be put in, which sucks. Like We shouldn't have to wait, but it's kind of just the reality of it. That's it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could show some support for your boy and slam the like button. Oh my goodness, I would be so happy. Anyways, that's basically it. If you're already subscribed and you want to make sure that you do not miss a video on your sub box, go to my channel and click on the bell to enable post notifications, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.